This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the JDFN Market Wrap. This is the Market Wrap. I'm Jack Lott here on a Thursday here on the James Dix Financial Network. House members getting ready for another opportunity to vote on a financial rescue bill that has infuriated millions of voters after the Senate added tax cuts and other sweeteners and passed it handily last night. Senators passed the much criticized measure in a 74 to 25 vote, sending it to the other side of the Capitol for a showdown vote which is expected around midday tomorrow. The SEC has extended an unprecedented ban against all short selling and its shares of more than 800 financial companies, keeping it in place at least until after Congress enacts a massive financial bailout plan. The ban, which was scheduled to expire today, will now last until midnight Eastern time on October 17th. Former Federal Reserve Chairman Alan Greenspan said financial markets and the economy will recover as investors regain their confidence. Greenspan urged lawmakers last week to back extensive measures to tackle the worst financial crisis since the 1930s and head off a recession. In economic reports today, the Labor Department reported that initial jobless claims increased by 1,000 to a seasonally adjusted 497,000. Commerce reporting that demand for U.S. factory goods dropped at the fastest rate in two years in August on a much lower orders for metals, machinery, and vehicles. And NASA has awarded Boeing a $650 million sole source contract extension for its International Space Station project. Scheduled economic reports on Friday, the big one of the month, non-farm payrolls for September scheduled out tomorrow morning at 8.30 Eastern Time. Un uh, unemployment rate for September also will be released and the ISM Services Index for September later in the morning. In earnings news, Marriott reporting net income slipping to $94 million or 26 cents a share. Analysts were looking for 32 cents. Constellation Brands lost $22.7 million or 11 cents per share. Analysts uh, expected earnings of 44 cents a share. And Mosaic Company earned uh, $1.18 billion or 265 a share, while analysts were looking for a profit of $2.94. Some of the earnings on Friday include Family Dollar Stores, Concord Camera, Johnson Health Tech, and U.S. Cellular. Some stocks in the news today. Continental reporting September air traffic falling 10.9% to 6.4 billion revenue passenger miles. Rite Aid Corporation said its September same-store sales rose 1.7%, and UBS expects to return to profit in the third quarter after substantially reducing its exposure to U.S. commercial and residential mortgages. That's the market wrap on a Thursday. Jack Lott on the James Dix Financial Network.